Good morning, Yathre. So today we're going to be looking at subtraction again, but today we're going to be doing it with exchanges. So last week you looked at addition with exchanges. This week we're going to be looking at subtraction with exchanges. We're going to be using our deans to help us today, and you're going to be using the website that I'm using, that I'm sharing my screen with you now for, to help you. So we're just going to do a little bit of a recap of what we know already. So let's count how how many deans I've got here? And remember, they're worth one. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, what do we know? Ten ones is equal to, what is it the equivalent to? Well done if you've said a column of ten. So just like with Ms. Johnson last week when we matched them up, we know that 10 ones is the same as a column of 10. And that's a really important thing that we need to remember today. So we know that our column of 10 is the same as 10 ones together. What do we know about a 10 columns of 10? So if I have my that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got ten columns of ten. What is that equal to? Well done if you've said a hundred. So here you can see that my col ten columns of ten is equal to one of my hundreds and that's really important that we remember that when we're doing our exchanges today so we're going to do a few questions together first so my first question is going to be 84 take away 26 oh i've got a double take away there so let's just get rid of that take away 26 equals okay that is my question first i need to draw my tens and units grid to help me so i've got my tens column and i've got my units column okay which number am i going to make with my deans in subtraction well done if you said 84 because it's the bigger number we're going to take away from that bigger number. How many tens are there in my number? There are eight tens, so I need eight block or rows of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and how many ones do I need? I need four of them. One, two, three, four. Now I want to take 26 away from my number of 84. But looking at my units, can I take six of them away? I can't. So think back to addition last week. What did we have to do? We had to exchange. Now, this time, we're going to have to ask the tens column really nicely if we can have one of their tens and exchange it for ten ones. So we're going to choose this one and I'm going to take it to my units column to make it ten ones. So I'm going to take ten ones into my units column six seven eight nine ten so i've taken a ten away from there and i've exchanged it into ten ones to help me work out the answer now i have definitely got more than six units here so i can take six of those away so let's have a go so let's take six away and I need to take away two of my tens so I'm going to get rid of that one and that one 
Okay, now I need to count how many I've got left. So let's count my units first. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units left. And how many tens have I got left? I've got rid of those two because I've taken them away and I've exchanged this one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five left. So that means my answer is 58. Okay, going to do another one together. So let me just clear my screen. My next question that we are going to do is, 272 take away 137 okay so that is my question now i need to draw my tens and units grid but will i just need tens and units no i'll need hundreds too so we'll make it a little bit bigger this time so i've got my hundreds my tens and my units. How, which number am I going to make first with my Deans? Well, then if you've said 272, so how many hundreds do I need out for my Deans? I need two of them. So there's one, and there's another one, two. Okay. How many tens do I need for 272? Well, I don't know if you've said seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how many ones do I need? Well, I don't know if you have said two. So I'm going to take 137 away from this number. So can I take seven of my units away? I can't because there's not seven to take away. So what do I need to do? Well done. If you've said I need to exchange, so what am I going to exchange it for? Shout it out to me. Well done. I'm going to take one of my tens. I'm going to ask really nicely if the tens will give me one of those tens to exchange into ten ones. So we need to put now 10 ones into my units column. So now I've done that, I definitely can take seven away. So let's use our pen to cross them out. So I'm going to take seven of them away. So one, two, three, four, five six seven how many tens am i taking away i'm taking three of them away oh that one's moved with it and how many hundreds am i taking away i'm taking one of them away so now i need to work out how many i've got left to get my answer so let's count how many units i've got left together count with me one two three, four, five. So I've got five units left. Let's count how many tens I've got left. One, two, three. And how many hundreds have I got left? I've got 100 left. So my answer is 135. Now we're going to do one more question together. Now, if you think back to our addition work from last week, did the exchange always happen between the tens and the units? No, sometimes it happened between the tens and the hundreds column as well. And that is where our exchange is going to happen in this question. So my question is 415 take away 250. 42. So let me just draw my hundreds, tens, and units grid. So there's my hundreds column, my tens column, and my units column. Which number am I going to make with my deans? 
I'm going to make 415. So one, two, three, four. Okay, how many tens do I need for 415? One. And how many units do I need? Well, I don't know if you've said I need five units. So looking at my question, how many am I taking away? Well done, I'm taking away 242. So I need to take two of my units away and I can do that this time. So I don't need to exchange it for any of my tens. Now I've got one 10 in my tens column, but I need to take away four tens. Can I do that at the moment? No, because I don't have four tens to take so this time we're going to have to knock on the hundreds column and ask really nicely if we can have a hundred off them to make another 10 tens and exchange it so we ask really nicely and we're going to take this block of hundred and exchange it for 10 lots of 10 so we're going to add another 10 cut 10, lots of 10 to our tens column. I'll just go over that because we know that's our tens. So now we can take four of them away. Okay, because I've got them to take away. So we'll take one, two, three, four of them away and how many hundreds am I getting rid of two of them so we'll get rid of that one and we'll get rid of that one so now I need to count how many I've got left so we'll start in our units okay so how many units have I got left I've got three units well done how many tens have I got left one two three four five six seven units and I have got 100 left because we did that exchange so my answer is 173 okay so today Miss Johnson and I would like you to have a go at using this website with the link on um on our class page to answer the different questions on the worksheet, remembering your exchanges and moving your deans and working out how many extra you will need. Good luck.